back here at Penn State, all even through three matches. 10th ranked Iowa, six. Number 15, Penn State, six. And here we go at 149 pounds. Ty Hustis, junior from Blue Earth, Minnesota, currently ranked fifth in the nation. Quickly racking up two points against Jack Decker, a freshman for Penn State from Roseland, New Jersey. Hustis with the quick deuce, and you'll be able to pick up something on Decker rather quickly. He's wearing a mask in front, has picked up a, a rash there in the face area, and they're going to let him wrestle with that mask. But obviously, Ken, something that'll definitely be uh, working against him. It's going to be tough to wrestle with that when you're not used to that sort of blockage in the front. And perhaps a little bit of little bit of distraction there. Ty Eustace is a hammer. Any way you shake it, you see his record up there. He's a dominating wrestler. He's looking to place high at the NCAA. He's possible NCAA champion. You know, one of Iowa's leaders. Certainly is. His brother, a talented wrestler for the Hawkeyes. They were just the tenth set of wrestlers, brothers, to wrestle at the same time in the Iowa lineup when they were in the mix the last couple of years. Yeah, Iowa has a great tradition of recruiting brothers. Dan Gable started it. He believes nice quick let him up take him down four to one it, it's going to be like that you're going to see a, you know one of iowa's best against one of fresh one of penn state's young ones but coming back to the brother thing with the eustace brothers uh, dan gable set the tradition and iowa goes after brothers they believe they work hard together you see the bannock brothers the steiner brothers the brand brothers some of the big names in wrestling that have just pushed each other and been some of the leaders of that program that have created the dynasties that have made iowa wrestling famous throughout the 80s and 90s there you see numbers for decker freshman who was thrust into the lineup for Penn State, replacing co-captain James Woodall, who tore his ACL in the championship at Midlands, has had surgery now, is done for the season, but will apply for a sixth hardship year to try to return to the Nittany Lion lineup next season. Yeah, and that, that's a good rule. It, it saves these kids, you know, you have, you have a significant injury and it's legitimate in your senior year, and that's just a heartbreaker. And so hopefully he'll be able to get a six-year. That's a perfect case early in the season injury where somebody will probably be able to get a six-year. Jack Decker's, you know, filled in admirably. And Penn State will also be doing that with uh, Eric Bradley, one of their top wrestlers, defending Big Ten champ. He'll also be applying for that six-year of eligibility. And you'll see him on the mat coming up at 184 pounds. You'll also see him in our breakaway at the Fieldhouse segment, a little FaceTime with Eric Bradley and his tremendous story. His career was almost ended by a back injury. He was able to overcome that and work his way back to the wrestling mat. You'll see him in action later on. You'll see him in a breakaway at the Fieldhouse coming up here a little bit later on yes. on CSTV. Eric Bradley's just a tremendous success story. As you said, the doctors told him time and time again his career was over. He actually quit wrestling and boxed for a year. He became the national NCAA boxing champion. It's unsanctioned, but it, you know, it's, it's the sport and he won it. And, then he finally got his back healthy, and now he's back at it. So it's, and he's set the tempo. He's one of Penn State's top wrestlers. And you see Decker trying to work here on the edge. Yep. Houston's experience trying to keep him in play and maybe rack up some more points here. The Iowa wrestler with a 6-3 lead here. Can he get any more before the end of the period? And he does. Yes, he does. Fourth takedown. He got four takedowns in that three-minute first, first period. That's an average of a takedown every 45 seconds. He pretty much in workmanlike fashion just went at it. 149 pounds is a uh, pretty stacked weight class nationally. Minotti and Esposito, two of those... Uh, favorites at this weight class. Storniolo, also an interesting case, used to wrestle here at Penn State. Here you see the takedown that finished the period off. He was on the edge, he kept him in bounds, caught him with three seconds left in the period to get that takedown and make the score 8-3 in favor of Eustace from Iowa. So the Iowa wrestler with the advantage, 8-3, entering period number two. He will start here on bottom. We talked about his brother departing here as the match is tied up right now at six. Iowa lost talented guys, including Houston, NCAA champ Cliff Moore, Tyler Nix, and Ryan Folsis. As over 50% of the dual meet points they earned last year were from those four guys alone. So certainly growing pains that the Hawkeyes are going through, and they tack on two more here. Houston sure. with another takedown. Jimmy Gillespie. Jimmy Zaleski, the head coach at Iowa, will have a chance to truly prove himself now. He's had some good recruits in there, and we'll see if they can develop over the coming years. You know, what happened there is Ty used to pick bottom. Jack Decker's only chance, really, was to stay on top of him and ride him like a dog, is the expression we use in wrestling when you really put it to somebody and pound him. 
but Jack Decker was able, unable to slow him down, and you see Ty Eustace opening up the match. Here, Jason, is where we get into bonus points. Right now, it's 12 to four. So for a regular decision, you know, you get three point win for the team, but now he's, he's guaranteed, if he keeps his eight point lead, a four point decision. Now, if he can win by technical fall, which is a 15 point decision, he'll get 15 points. Ultimately, the goal is to pin him and get the 16 points. So this that's what it comes down to now. Jack Decker has got to survive. He's got to hold his own. That's, that's his battle the next three minutes. Meanwhile, Ty Eustace is going to try to pound him, tire him out, wear him down, and run up the score and or pin him. Eustace is racking up points at will. Another two right there, you see stretching a lot of, his lead. You see a lot of go-behinds. Jack Decker's taking poor shots. He's frustrated. He's tired. Perhaps the face mask is affecting him. He's worn Okay, there's the quick. He's released him now. He's going to go get him. Look for Eustace to really open up and get tenacious here. He knows he's got him worn down. He's up by eight points. He's got to get a takedown. He's got to look for backwards. I don't think he's going to be able to tech fall. I mean, he hasn't showed any back point potential yet. He's going to have to. He's going to have to get him. He's going to have to get a tight bar or something to pin him. A stall warning right there against the Penn State wrestler. I might eat my words, who knows if he can, what we call in wrestling, break his opponent. It's not a physical break, but a mental break. You know, to give up, he'd have to get five or six takedowns here in the last period, which is a, a lofty task. He got three in the first period. He may, he may tire him down and break him and get the technical ball. We'll see. 16-6 the score. Don't forget, coming up momentarily, our breakaway at the field house. After the match at 157 pounds, we will profile Penn State's Eric Bradley, a tremendous comeback story. Right now, Penn State would need a miraculous comeback story here at 149 pounds. Houston still laying it on Jack Decker of the Nittany Lions, 18-7 the advantage now, and he's got riding time already locked up as well. And a single leg. He's got to pull it in and finish on the edge. They're going to go out of bounds here. It's going to be tight here. This is going to be an exciting minute and a half, Jason, because Ty Eustace is going to be going, if you will, berserk. He's going to be going after him, moving and pushing him, attacking. Jack Decker is going to be fighting for survival. This is the game inside the game, if you will. Iowa looks to have the bout locked up, but those bonus points so crucial to dual meet competitions. And Eustace tacking on two more, 20 to 7 right now. Yeah, that's beautiful snap down. That makes it a 13-point spread with riding time also. Eustace is floating. He's not, he's not going to look for play. He's going to cut him loose, go after him again. Right now it's a 12-point spread. So an, another, he's, he needs two more to tech fall more, one and a ride out. At some point here, Ty Eustace needs to look for the pin. The great wrestlers have to be able to pin people. They have to be able to dominate the people from top. And again, you know, I mentioned earlier, I always struggle with them sometimes. Sometimes they're not as dominating on top. They're really good on their feet. They're hammers, they're physical, they win a lot of matches, but they don't often have a lot of pinners. Uh, Eustace cutting loose Decker there in an attempt to go after another takedown here in the final 33 seconds or so. And this will close the deal right here. 22-9. He finishes this leg attack and gets to a double. He's got to get his feet across or split the legs. He's done, he's done both. It's over. It's 15 point technical fall. And he might be able to finish off with a pin, as you talked about, Ken, working in there, but Decker able to deny things. Two back points. There the call, and that'll be it. Head coach Troy Sunderland's coming over the table. He's arguing the situation. If my arithmetic was right, which I believe it was, according to the scoreboard, it would have been a tech fall before he took him to his back. I'm not sure why they let him take him towards his back. But they're talking about it right now. Two coaches working their way over with the referee and the officials, trying to discuss things and get things set up. Either way, it's going to be an Iowa victory as Houston puts on a takedown clinic and picking up the victory at 149 pounds, working his way, getting things done, and Iowa picking up the victory and the tech fall. Nice takedown there. He got the leg attack, closed the deal. I believe the situation that occurred there, you know, to get an extra point for the tech toy, you got to have a set of back points, Jason. Iowa getting the win from Houston at 149.